Skyrider drone, pre-flight checklist. The receiver cable must be fitted with the orange wire nearest the receiver and the brown wire furthest from the receiver. Switch on the radio control. On the receiver, use a small screwdriver to press the link button. Hold the button down until the LED flashes. When you release the button, the light stays on, indicating that the radio control and the receiver are now linked. Correctly attach the electronic speed controls to the flight control board. Motor lead 1 connects to ESC port 1. Motor lead 2 connects to ESC port 3. Motor lead 3 connects to ESC port 4. And finally, motor lead 4 connects to ESC port 2. Before you fly, you need to set up the radio control. Turn the radio control over. There are eight dip switches next to the battery compartment. Check that they are all in the on position except numbers 5 and 6, which must be off, as shown in this close-up. On the top of the radio control are the switches for channels 5 and 6. These control the direction and flight modes of the drone. They must be pushed back completely. To begin the test, switch on the radio control and check that the levers for channel 5 and channel 6 are pushed back. Then put the radio control to one side. We recommend that the rotor guards supplied with your drone are always fitted whenever you fly. Connect the battery plug and put the drone on the ground. It's now ready to fly. Using the radio control, arm the motors by bringing the two joysticks down diagonally to the centre. To turn the motors off again, Move the two joysticks down diagonally to the centre again. Now start the motors and follow the instructions for takeoff. 